Hey guys, Amp here bringing you the second Affinity Designer tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the pen tool. Now, the pen tool is located over here, and it kind of looks like a sort of old fashioned pen. Uh, if you wanted to, you also can uh, use a uh, keyboard quick select with uh, just hitting the letter P, and it will go straight to the pen tool. Now, the pen tool in an Affinity Designer allows you to create uh, simple curves. If you're right here on the pen mode, you can create simple curves like this and just kind of stretch it out however you like. Uh, if you change the mode over here on the top bar right here and come up, you can change it to the smart mode and it will try to make smart curves for you. And you can try to make like sort of uh, swirly designs uh, with this. There's also uh, up here the polygon mode which allows you to make straight lines and connect certain things. Uh, right here is just the line part and you can just make lines all over. Um, now the pen tool is uh, useful uh, for various things. It can help you create uh, your own specific drawings in Affinity Designer. It can also allow you to trace over certain images. Uh, there's also modes up here that allow you to change how you uh, finish things. So if you wanted to create something with the polygon tool right here, and you're just randomly drawing, but you don't want to close this directly, you can just come up here and hit this to close your polygon. Uh, you can choose that to break it. And uh, another interesting tool you can use in unison with the pen tool will be the node tool. Now this tool allows you to move your points and reshape your drawing after the fact. So you can reshape into like different modes. It allows you also, there's also certain snap modes that allow you to snap to a curve and snap to different areas. And uh, all of, you can just play around with all of these different ones. Now uh, you have to go back into the pen tool to create again. So if you're going over here and you want to just create some sort of curve right here. You can choose to break it and move it out again. You can uh, snap and finish it however you like. And if you come over here and use the node tool, you can move this curve as well. And one of the best uh, tools for this is this one right here, which is the smooth curve. Now this one allows you to make, it makes multiple points along whatever you did as a drawing. And this is very useful if you wanted to go back after the fact and kind of reshape something to your liking. So you can come back up here and reshape to whatever. Now I'm just making random shapes here, but with yours you can even go back and it will add even more points after the fact. I find this extremely useful because I'm not particularly skilled with drawing line to line with the line tool. So you can just keep stretching things out here and if you keep hitting back it will add more and more points for you to adjust and it's kind of sort of coming out as a blob but uh, this tool is uh, very useful. I find I use it for tracing certain designs so if I see something that I want to know how to draw I'll practice on tracing and I find that to be very helpful but uh, this tool is extremely useful. You can uh, change your fill color for lines and everything. You can come back here make your line blue or your shape blue. Uh, you can make these sh sort of weird shapes afterwards. Make a shapes so you can resize your drawings afterwards. But uh, this is the uh, this tool is really for just the basics of Affinity Designer. It uh, it's really helpful for um, a multitude of things and it's the basis for everything you do here. Uh, after you make everything, it's just like a regular shape. You can do all the uh, edits to it, flip. You can also convert it to curves and make it an actual shape. So uh, this is the basics of the pen tool in Affinity Photo. If you liked the video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials coming uh, down the pipe. So thanks for watching.